Now that we've completed the heel turn, you've got this nice V shape which has pulled in the sides of the heel flap, it's time to pick up the stitches down the side of the heel flap which is what's going to give you the gusset. Now it doesn't really matter whether you pick up just one side or both stitches of these edge stitches here. These are the ones that you slipped and it makes them easier to pick up because they are slightly bigger so you can see, you can see them more easily. You're going to pick up one stitch for every two rows of heel flap knitted and it'll be one large stitch so it's quite easy for you to see. You're going to go all the way down this flap and then pick up an extra stitch here in the gap between where the heel flap ends and the top of the foot stitches start because that's what will stop you getting a hole in that space. It's really easy to pick up and knit a new stitch. You put your needle into the stitch, wind the yarn around the needle and then pull it through and you've created a new stitch on your needle and that's it. You're going to do the same thing in each of the stitches all the way down the heel flap. Don't worry if it looks as if it might be a little bit baggy at the moment. Sometimes when you first pick up the stitches they do look a little bit loose but they will tighten up as you go around now you can see where the stitches are, are picking up there. You, you won't notice those holes at all once you get going with your sock again. So the thing to do now is to continue picking up each stitch all the way down the heel flap. I've finished picking up the stitches down the first side of the heel flap and I've made the extra stitch in the gap so that I don't get a hole where the heel flap joins to the top of the foot stitches. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit across the top of the foot stitches they're currently on my short circular needle and I'm going to use this to, to knit across these stitches and then I'm going to pick up the rest of these stitches on the other side of the heel flap using the short circular needle. So what I need to do is bend it around into a tiny circle and it will bend so don't worry about, about it not quite reaching and then I'm just going to start knitting. So having bent the ends of the circular needle around and I'm now knitting in a tiny circle with just half the number of stitches on my needle and I'm just going to carry on knitting all of these stitches. So it's plain knitting at the moment, that, um, no pattern involved so just knit every single stitch as you go across the top of the foot until you're ready to pick up the next set of gusset stitches. Once you've knitted across the top of the foot stitches, the next thing to do is put a stitch marker over the end of your needle and you're going to pick up the stitch in the gap. Now make sure you don't get the bar between the stitches. Make sure that you get a proper leg of the stitch so that you don't get a hole. And then when you knit into that stitch, you can start picking up the rest of the stitches along this side of the heel flap, ready to work your way around to begin the first of the decreases as you get all the way around the sock.